In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to switch from an iPhone to a Pixel phone by Google. I'm using the Pixel 6a and the iPhone SE, but it's gonna be pretty much the same process if you have a different iPhone than this or if you have a different Pixel phone. <laughs> go ahead and hit get started. Next step, you can go ahead and put in your SIM card, but it's not necessary. You could always do that later. So I'll skip that step for now. Then you just wanna to connect to your Wi-Fi, preferably the fastest connection that you have. Next step, you have the option to hit next and copy all of your apps and data. Now, if you don't wanna transfer files, you could just hit don't copy, and that way it would be like a fresh install. So for this video, just go ahead and hit next. Okay, so now is what you wanna do is connect your iPhone to the Pixel. You'll plug in the lightning connection. Luckily, you do have an adapter here in the box for most Pixel phones, which makes it easy to plug in pretty much any charging cable right into the Pixel phone. Go ahead and hit trust on the iPhone. And then it'll say devices are connected. Go ahead and hit next. Go ahead and sign in with your Gmail account. So then it's just getting ready to copy everything over. It says if you have a lot of data on your iPhone, this step's gonna take a while. Now, for some reason it said reconnect the cable, uh, just unplug it, plug it back in, and it should start copying. And then on the next step, it just shows you what kind of stuff you can copy over. Or if you just don't want certain things on the new phone, you could uncheck that right here. And then it's gonna ask you what apps that you wanna copy over. Obviously, the more stuff that you copy over, the longer it's gonna take. Then just go ahead and hit copy. It's gonna ask you if you wanna use location, allow scanning when Wi-Fi is off, send usage data. You can turn all that stuff off if you don't want it. And then just hit accept. Next step is also kind of personal preference. If you wanna back your phone up with Google One, not a bad idea, but for this video, I'm just gonna say not now. Uh, you can always do that later. Then just hit I accept, go ahead and set up your pin. Then you can set up your fingerprint unlock. Sort of just keep moving it around until it gets a good reading. It'll tell you if you're not holding it down long enough or if you need to move it around. And that's pretty much it. Then you just hit next. Then you have the option to continue setup to set up Google Pay, Google Assistant, and some other Google services. Or you can say leave and get reminder. You can also check the additional apps that can be downloaded as well, or just uncheck them if you don't want those. Then just hit okay. And as you can see, it says copying is done. And then here it just reminds you that you've gotta go and turn off iMessage. Otherwise you're gonna keep getting text messages on your old iPhone, then just hit done. Then it's gonna show you some tips as far as navigation goes. Probably not a bad thing to go through if you're new to Android or if you just haven't used a Pixel before. And that's pretty much it. You can unplug the phones and then go ahead and check out the new phone. Make sure everything's on there that you need. Depending on what apps and information you had on the iPhone, you may have to do a few things manually, but overall, pretty simple process. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may wanna say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishby Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Uh,